Hello everyone, this is Matt Miller, your Dean of Online Instruction. Uh, today I have a neat little tech tip I think you're going to want in your life. Uh, it's called Awesome Screenshot. Some of you may have heard of this before, but Awesome Screenshot, what it does is it gives you the ability to not only capture your screen within a web browser, but then to also annotate that screenshot um, with arrows and words and things like that to help give instructions to someone. I use this tool almost every day when someone has a question about how to do something. Uh, online or whatever. I usually use Awesome Screenshot to capture the screen and point arrows to the things that I want them to do and build quick tutorials very quickly and very effectively using this tool. So let's look at uh, how you get this tool real quick. First of all, it is available within as an add-on to various web browsers. So you will find it, uh, you can you can download it, install it into your Google Chrome, uh, Mozilla Firefox, uh, Safari. I don't think Internet Explorer has uh, something they have other tools that you might can use but for awesome screenshot uh, I do know that Safari Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome uh, it does work so um, most of us use Google Chrome for a lot of stuff anyway uh, so we'll just uh, look at the example in Google Chrome so if I go out here to uh, open up Google Chrome I'll go ahead and open one I've already started here and you go to Google just type in the words awesome screenshot awesome screenshot and then click enter and when you do the very first thing that will appear is this awesome screenshot screen video recorder Chrome web store so again this is an add-on that will be in Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or Safari uh, which means that it when you open Chrome up it will actually live in the upper right hand corner um, of your of your website you can see that I have other plugins uh, established there as well so let's go ahead and add this on it's very easy to do. It takes just a moment. Uh, so when you're out here, it'll it'll bring up the uh, Add to Chrome uh, link there. So click on that. There's also a nice little video tutorial that shows you how to use it here. So uh, take some time to look at that. I'm actually going to cover it in my video, so uh, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Uh, but just know that there are some nice tutorials out here for you when you pull it up. And then you're going to simply click Add Extension. And it's going to think about it for a second. It's going to say checking over here and then it'll tell you that it's added to Chrome. A little window will pop up up here and if you look up here you'll notice what looks like a little lens, a little camera lens that's appeared up here. Okay, that is my tool now. My tool, Awesome Screenshot tool has been added to Chrome. Now I'm using just the free version. Awesome Screenshot does have a premium version that costs some money or whatever but you won't need it uh, for what you want to do uh, with uh, with with the tools I'm about to show you, I think you'll, I mean, I've gotten along fine uh, using the tool just, just the way it is for free. So hopefully you'll find it to be easy as well. So once the tool is in Chrome, uh, we'll just use it as an example to show you how uh, you can then now use this tool to make a screen capture of maybe some, a little quick tutorial or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over here to a Canvas course and I'm in the course settings here. And let's just say, for example, I wanted to build a quick tutorial to show uh, faculty how how to set the dates in their courses to override the semester dates in their courses. Uh, so here in the, in the settings area, I can scroll down to the start and end date here. Uh, I can actually plug in the times that I want uh, this course to be available. We'll say from uh, you know April 2nd uh, to you know say June 1st or whatever. And then you always have to check this little box. Now that I have kind of set the stage for this, what I can do now is go up to Awesome Screenshot, click the little camera lens, and notice that I can choose a, a variety of things to capture. Now, some of these down here, screen recordings and all, uh, are premium, um, premium tools, so you can't really use those with the free version. But if I want to capture, say, the visible part of the page, so the part of the page that we're looking at here, I want to capture that. So watch this. Click it. And now it's going to give me a, uh, an image of my screen uh, that, that I've just recorded here. I just took a picture of. And so there's the image uh, version there. But look at the top here. You have some really wonderful tools as well. So if you wanted to crop this down uh, to make it a little smaller, you can click the crop button and then you can draw like a little rectangle of the area that you wish to copy. Okay, so I'll just get kind of the area, the main area there, and click crop. And now you can see that I've got a smaller area there. 
All right. So what you could do then is you'll notice that you do have uh, some boxes here. Uh, I'm going to come back to that in just a second. You could draw a box and a, uh, a circle if you like. You can also uh, choose the color of the box or the line or whatever you want to draw. You do have a pen tool here that you can quickly do little freehand drawings as well. Some people like that. I prefer a cleaner circle than I do trying to draw a circle with a pen, uh, but you have that ability. Uh, you also have arrows that you can add. There's three types of, of arrows. There's a line, uh, a freehand arrow, or just a, an arrow that kind of draws for you. You can add text. You can blur things. You can highlight. There's just some of those other tools. Some of these other tools here are premium tools, so you really can't use those. But these tools that are kind of lighter uh, on the toolbar are all tools that you can use. You can always go back uh, even undo something if you've done something or delete it. Um, you can also choose the thickness of your arrow or line or pen as well here. So let me just demonstrate how maybe I would use this image and annotate it to, uh, and then use it uh, to show uh, how I could, uh, how faculty can change the beginning and end dates in their Canvas courses. So first of all, first of all, what I would like to do is choose an arrow here. And I can draw a little arrow. And again, I can change the color of that arrow uh, before I do it or afterwards by clicking on this little color palette here. Uh, but I'm going to leave it red. And then I can choose maybe some text to add there. And I can choose a variety of different kinds of typefaces or fonts. I'm going to choose Arial. And maybe I'll bring it down to about 18 uh, just to make it first. Is you know, let's just say step one, uh, click settings. All right. And notice how I can move that text around once I have it there. And then next, where I want to focus in on is right here in the start date and end date area here. So I'm going to draw a box around this area. Again, I'll just keep it red. Like that. Okay. Now I could go in and actually blur all the stuff that I don't want them to, to, to pay attention to. So you have a little blur tool, this little teardrop tool. And this this is a really wonderful tool, particularly if you're working in a grade book or, or maybe you took a screenshot that has some sensitive information on it that you don't want to share with other people. Uh, you can redact or blur uh, those the, 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 the words here by simply clicking on the tool and then drawing a little box. Notice how it just blurs it automatically there. So you can blur all that information out. You can also um, you can add another little blur there. You know, like I said, if I want to just focus on this menu here, then I can just kind of blur everything around that box. And it just looks a little nicer on the page. It shows the faculty member, hey, focus on this little box here. So once you have that done, then I can go ahead and add some more arrows. Um, you know, I could say, uh, you know, step two. Um, choose a start and end date. Okay. And that would just kind of point those two jump boxes in general. And then finally, uh, we'll do another arrow here. And then here I can just say, notice that I can move the arrow once I have it uh, out there. Let me go, ahead and go to text there real quick. I can also change the direction by grabbing on the end there. Um, and then choose my text box and put something here like uh, three select checkbox. Okay. And then I can move that text around as well. All right, so now you see I've got all three little steps there of what I want the faculty to do there. And then I can simply click done. And by doing that, um, I could always go back and re-edit it. So if I've messed up and want to go back and re-edit it here, I can go back and re-edit the screenshot. I can kind of preview what I've done here. And if I'm satisfied with it, notice that I could then save it to my computer. I can copy it or I can also print it right here. Uh, saving it saves it as an image file that you can then insert into an email and send back to that faculty member or, or send it out. Or you can use it uh, to put it into a Word document along with other tutorials. So you can create a whole series of these. Particularly if there's more than one screenshot you have to take, you may have to put them together. So go to this screen and then do this and go to that screen and do that. You get the idea how you could then uh, have multiple images there. And so simply, I'm going to save it as an image real quick. Go ahead and allow it. And it's going to bring up, uh, I'm just going to save it here in my tutorial screenshots here. So um, here's a, um, you know, setting 
um, dates in Canvas course or whatever you want to call it. And then I can save this as a PNG image uh, and then hit save. And now when I pull that image up, there's the image right there. And so again, I could embed this into a PowerPoint or a, or a, a Word document. I could uh, just send it the way it is or whatever. And I do that quite a bit. A faculty member or someone has a question about how to do something. I use that screenshot, that Allison screenshot annotation tool, go out there and show it to them, take a picture of it and send it to them. And uh, they always reply with, thank you, happy, you know, I'm awesome. This is great. And so maybe that's why they call it awesome screenshot. So once you're done, of course, you can just get out of it. Um, and then go back to your go back to your screen or whatever. So that, in a nutshell, is the awesome screenshot tool uh, available as a plug-in to your Google Chrome or to Mozilla Firefox or in your Apple Safari. So I do hope that you enjoy uh, videos like these. I'm going to continue doing them, um, and so hopefully this little tech tips. We'll try to do them once a week or so. Uh, if you do like what you see, kind of over here somewhere down below me is a subscribe button so you can subscribe to my channel um, this Matt's uh, our little tech tips that we have uh, for you some of them will have to do with canvas some of them will be tools like these that you can use as well so please uh, don't forget to, uh, to subscribe and that'll give you access to all the videos that we're doing up to this point and then other ones that are coming in the future so I do hope you have a good day and I uh, hope to see you soon thank you